I'm fed. You look ridiculous with a color Keep them on, on a radio show. Drink, drink from, drink yeah. out of the bowl. I am fulfilling my slave boy obligations. I am paying off this bet. Name the leash. Name the leash. Name the leash and rattle it so people know. Name it. Jerry. The leash is named Jerry. Kiss Jerry. Tongue Jerry the leash and call him cute. All right, this leash tastes awful. But I am going to pay my bet. You're not going to call me a welcher. I'm the only one on the show that does pay bets. That's it? He no, that's not it. On? That's not it. No. That's it? No, no, no. And he drinks from a bowl? No, no. I, I'm giving him a little bit of leniency right now, but if he keeps with the smart mouth that he's the only one who pays off a bet, then something else will happen. Give me one of the other games this week. Seattle hosting, or Seattle going to Green Bay. Mm. What's the line? I believe it's three. Three or four. The line is, uh, line is eight. It's oh, that eight much? I think I take Seattle on eight. I think it's going to be a close game. The, the last time they played it, we went to yeah. overtime. And, uh, you that's know, a, Brett Favre, you never know what he's going to yeah, fucking do. That's a bad line. I'm sorry. The weird the thing is, you don't know what Hasselback's going to do either. No, he, he, he'll he try to get as crazy as far. <laughs> <laughs> that always happens. You never have one guy having a good game and the other guy having a bad one. It's always, Favre will throw for two TDs and so will Hasselback. And then as soon as Favre makes a mistake, Hasselbeck will as well. But when it goes over a touchdown, that's a lot. They eight points. Yeah, it's a lot of points, man. It's a lot of fucking points in the playoff game. Uh, give me the other games. In the AFC, you got the Chargers going to Indianapolis against the Colts. Uh, Colts giving up eight and a half. I still think I take the Colts. <laughs> I'm, I'm not impressed with the Chargers. I take Chargers with that game. I don't. I think you're all dog. I know You're all dogs this weekend. I think Colts are slipping a little bit, and I think Chargers. You put on the dog collar. You're the dog. No, I'm not going to put. I'm not. I'm not. You're I'm the not, dog in every game. Boys, the dog drink out of your bowl. Drinking and, out of the bowl. And here's the deal: the Chargers are hot, Mister B, after winning their first playoff game. I think the Chargers are going to beat the Colts, <laughs> flat out. I do. Write all this down for me, Earl. This is going to be a bomb of fucking weekend for him. <laughs> You know, and he picked the Chargers. They struggled against Tennessee. What do you think they're going to do in the Dome against the Colts? They didn't struggle. You just want the Colts to lose. Uh, Peyton's a little overexposed yeah, at this point with the commercials yeah, and all that. Yeah. And that one commercial. It's all personal with you. That one commercial where a 10-year-old. Uh, the game? <laughs> and the last game of the weekend is Jaguars at the Patriots. Patriots giving up 13. Whew, that's fucking large, man. All huge spreads this I weekend. Think I, I, want, I want the Jags in that. I'd take Patriots. I'd have to. The Jags score first. You're up 20 nothing. You're doing <laughs> fucking bumps and fucking beers at that point. You're up 20 to nothing if you score first. You got to take that as a fucking gambler. But if you they're up 20 nothing, Patriots can score 21 points in 12 right, minutes. So you take your four picks. Are you going to go 4-0 for me? Yes. And what happens if you don't? Um, There's only one thing I want. I'll, or I'll piss piss on me, I guess. All right, Earl, you want you want to piss on him? I'll pee on him. He you always want, he seems to be begging. <sighs> for okay, it. good. No, it's I'm true. begging for it. I want you in to his piss butt. on Literally me. Literally in his butt. <laughs> you can piss in my butt. <laughs> but um, I've never fucking finally. But we got to figure out where to do that because we can't do it in our men's room here. If we no, could. I don't want it. Fuck it. I don't want his piss in this fucking studio. Oh, you studio. know what? There's glass here. We could go right by the bleachers. No one will know the better. All right, but I don't want any fucking piss hit the floor. I hate that. No, we'll put newspapers on. All right, so you're going to go 4-0, yeah. or Earl will pee in your butt. That, that's what's going to happen. No. Now, uh, Fez, by the way, this is a bet. Not you sitting here three days in, and all you're doing is drinking out of a bowl wearing a dog <laughs> collar. This is a bet people will be looking forward to. Take off your shirt, then. <laughs> That's what I want him to do. I want him to take off Why his shirt. Why hurt me? <laughs> he should take off his shirt and, and name his nipples. Oh, God. This is name bad. them. All right. Faster! Yes, master. I can take no. any humiliation you can dish out. Nobody asked you to say master. You did that on your own. This is a fucking bad S&M thing. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Yes. <laughs> Fez. <laughs> Look at those nipples. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold in here. Uh, he doesn't uh, have breasts. Well, tell your nipples that it's cold in here. <laughs> and this is Ant, and this is Ope. Oh, <laughs> fuck me. That's disgusting. Oh, 
Do no, you let him go? not literally. Oh, well, you say that to Slave Boy. I can take any humiliation you have. I might say hi to your listeners. Oh, Whoa. there's people oh. here looking? Yeah, they're looking at you. <laughs> Which one do you prefer? All right, let, let me get back to the real okay. bet. The pee yeah. in my butt yeah. uh, bet. You're going to... What four teams have you picked? I got Giants. I got Chargers. I got Pats. And I got Seahawks with the line. All, all of them with the lines. Right. These are all with the spread. Yeah. Everything spread. Everything so spread. I want the exact things to go out. And the only other thing is, yeah. and this one's important to me, if you lose, I really want Casey to have that baby in a bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> we watched that. Yes, because Ricky Lake and I really want that for uh, birthing them babies, too. <laughs> we watched that. Or, uh, I watched it last night. Casey didn't? She watched the first eight minutes with me and then said, uh, fuck, something like, fuck this hippie shit or something like that. Which I didn't think it first was... First of all, hippies are the ones who do drugs. So <laughs> you want to do drugs, you're the fucking hippie. <laughs> Two, Casey, you're having that baby underwater. <laughs> and that's it. She, that's final. She will have the baby however she chooses. But uh, I was very frightened by the documentary. Um, there's a midwife who is throughout the documentary helping the the um, the people who want to have the natural birth. But then they showed the midwife's birth, Mr. B. She was in incredible pain. That was the scariest thing I've ever seen in That's my life. That's why I thought it was a great documentary, that they set out to have certain things, but the pain can be so unbearable. But... You go through this pain so your baby isn't born a fucking half a retard or whatever. You know, is it really worth it? I mean, the pain that the that the midwife herself was going through, you know, rivaled only, you know, I don't know, the exorcist or something. But, I mean, I'm not just saying that because it's an easy metaphor. It was really almost like she was possessed. It scared the shit out of me. By the way, Paranoid is very turned on the this sub-fucking act that you're doing, drinking out of a dog dish, and he says you got that from him and Cherry. Remember when they used to do that? Yeah, they have a video collection. Uh, now you're on. What got to you more out of it? Was it the screaming pain or the gore of, you know, childbirth? Like the, the there blood There wasn't and stuff? as much gore as There's I no thought. There's no gore. What gore is there? Yeah, there wasn't as much gore as I thought. Just the fucking emotional response from these women. I couldn't take it. I couldn't take strangers Look, on a DVD. You... Your wife, what about this? All right, you know how you want to have the baby underwater in case you want to have the baby really. underwater? Right. Well, you we don't. put her in a fucking scuba mask. We take her 20 feet uh, out off the coast of fucking uh, New Jersey. Yeah. We have the baby in the ocean. That's not going to work. Why not? On so many levels. I don't think you should put scuba gear. I'm going to have fucking on. two divers close. So if that baby starts to get away, they zip <laughs> in and help. Just like in Jaws. I'll put her in a shark right. cage. The baby, what are you crying for? <laughs> That's very upsetting. Why would that make you I cry? I can't put my wife in a shark cage. For the baby. The baby needs to be born the underwater. The baby, what if the baby gets its head caught between the bars? There's a million things that could go I'm wrong. I'm not going to allow that to happen. I'm going to have safety divers available at all times. A little saltwater baby. I when, and get me one of those fucking sticks, too, with the fucking bolt on the end of it. get him a stick. In case the shark comes up. Oh. I, want the, I want the divers to keep the sharks away from that baby. First of all, those divers, they throw that pole all over the place. You have no idea how the current is going to go. But they, they, they could hit one of those electrodes in, into my wife. You're going to be in... What about just a hot tub? We throw a hot tub party. And we're all in there with her together. <sighs> I mean... Who? Where? Where would the hot tub be? I like I the door at the Hard Rock. I like the door at the gig. <laughs> we can't keep going back to the Hard Rock. <laughs> All right, where else do you want to go then? I mean, forty forty. Look, I'll go home and ask her if call Jay Z. See if we get a hot tub in the forty forty. We're not going. Dumb white bitch having a baby. He'll we, understand what I'm talking we will about. Will not be going to that. Club. Why not? You know why? Oh, you don't want them close to the baby. <laughs> We want natural yeah, birth. Hey, Earl, yes, we can. Because the change <laughs> is going to come. And this baby will be born under a black president. Oh, my and God. And I, I, I hope we change the flag to black. <laughs> Holy shit. The first. I definitely got Hillary to pick her game up now. I can't have that. I can't have that. That's the baby's future. I can't have my baby being born under a black president. This Seriously, can fucking we anarchy. do this fucking baby? 
underwater off the coast. I, now, <laughs> what, oh, hey, what about the catcher's crouch? I love that catcher's crouch. It made a lot more sense because it doesn't, as they said in the movie, it expands the uterus. Yeah, in a in a much more comfortable way rather than laying down. That's the, something I didn't learn. I, they were know. in a thing. The fucking baby's head was popped out right next to the fucking floor. Right. Right. So if she slips yeah. straight down. Tombstone pile driver he, into the baby's uh, head. Undertaker uh, time. Yeah, I would like to also point out that Ron Bennington told me that a baby was going to get pile drived in the movie. Uh, I'm fucking freaking out already, and you told me the baby's going to go down like an Undertaker fucking move. So thanks a lot, Mr. B, for, uh, for giving me that type of pressure. You're welcome. Yeah, your your some of your advice and your little things aren't helping me. No, they help me. Right, they make me laugh thinking yeah. that you're scared. I was scared the entire film before you told me a baby was going to get pile drived. But that seems so <sighs> risky having the baby's head that close to the floor. Well, laying down is not the natural way. No. You're having a baby the way the uh, primal women would have babies. You know, right. Just like they didn't have chairs, the way people used to crouch. Right. That's that is the way that a human should sit, not in a chair. <laughs> and that is the way that a woman should crouch. Yeah. With it, you the, know. The one thing in the pool that I couldn't. Um, when Jesus invented the the chair, he threw everything off. Okay. He invented the chair. Listen, the one where fucking we, uh, I tape tried to tell me one day yeah. that because I said uh, not much of a carpenter, Jesus, none of his work lasted. Right. And. Dave said that he invented the chair. Yes, I saw it on the... Everyone chuckles. You know what, yeah. Slave Boy? You cannot chuckle. Lick Opie. Lick your nipple, Opie. Lick it. But I can't the, reach it. But Mr. B, on the Discovery Channel, they said that Jesus invented... Yeah, the chair with backs. I want to be specific. So before that, there were only stools? Stools, essentially, yeah. I don't know what why... What about you, a fucking throne? Keep, keep laughing, Earl. Did you ever see those people with thrones? Uh, they did not have them before Jesus came yes, around. Yes, they did too. Oh, excuse me. They said that Jesus invented them for the common folk. So maybe there were a couple All right, so thrones. he stole the design. You know, he, he, he never had access to the palace. He never had access to a king, so he wouldn't so, have seen a throne. Oh, this is, uh, as Billy Staples calls it, parallel writing. In a, in a <laughs> sense, yes. But how about heard about it? Hey, you know, they have stools with backs. That sounds great for the common man. What do you do, set up a conveyor belt? They were... So everyone thought that if you put a back on a chair, it had to be made of gold or silver? No. Those weren't made of gold and silver. The fuck, they were just chairs. Those thrones were just chairs. You go to a museum and see them now. They existed. You, you guys are taking so much for granted. They were not big thinkers in those times. It was They were very much simpletons. Yes, they came up with algebra, but they couldn't come up with a back to a chair. I have The Egyptians the, were not simpletons. The Egyptians, Look at the but, fucking pyramids. Well, Jesus wasn't Egyptian. I mean, I'm saying... Where they had fucking crook. chairs is what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, no, no, they no, had no, no, pyramids. No, not according to the... No, not according to the documentary. Why do you watch these things and call them documentaries? That is a fucking science fiction channel. Fez came there. in here, stone serious, and tried to tell us Stalin had eight people who were in his army. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> the, I, I want you to, Fez... Sit there in your fucking no shirt on with your named nipples and, and a collar around your head and a bit that's not working. Right. Look at Dave and say, right now, he's smarter than me because he's picking winners. That's right. I, I, I have the hot hand. And the thing about Jesus was he marked your ba it. Your baby's going to be born underwater now because of this. Oh. I can't. And Earl, you don't swim, right? Not at all. So as a way of showing how safe this is, I'm going to put you in a fucking cage next to him. I'm going to weight that cage down, mm. all right? But you're going to have a breathing tube. I'd really prefer... Which I'll also use as a feeding tube. Earl, It'll be like your umbilical cord. Earl, Earl tends to be a panicky person. I don't want him... I mean, he's going to be helping me with the birth? Yeah. I think that would be a mistake. And a big one. What I would like is... You know, rather than a shark There's cage, two yeah. either you're going to be either the baby's going to be born underwater, or born in a hospital. But after we spank the baby and it starts to cry, we waterboard it. <laughs> what? We're going to waterboard the baby. What is that? I don't know. Mm. 
That'll be fine. Oh, boy. I don't like the sound and of And then I will say this, Earl. If that baby knows anything about Osama bin Laden, I will find out within minutes. Okay, now I do have an idea of what you're talking about. No, that's not going to happen either. I mean, I would you're be You're ruining this baby for the show. No, I'm, I'm willing to compromise and we get like a, a tub, a big tub, the way that one black lady had. And it, there was all this water. And Earl, no offense here, but in this birthing thing, the only people who have easy births are blacks. <laughs> Yeah, told you. Uh, we always well, we got bigger. Well, it's like spitting out a grapefruit seed. Yeah, tell you. <laughs> so it's not that big. They got huge genitalia. You're confusing with the that fucking monkey that we used to see in the zoo. Remember <laughs> that just giant genitalia? What kind of monkey is that, Earl? Um, I, I'm not sure. I forgot the name of it. But, oh, it's, uh, Coco. But, but right? what, no, it's not no. the specific name. <laughs> But oh, there's chip. one type that just has giant genitalia that you would see at the zoo when they would take you to the zoo. I hate animal chip. genitalia. There's nothing worse <laughs> than seeing a dog that otherwise would have been cute. You tell me when you went to the zoo and something shit or piss, you and your friends didn't fall fucking down. <laughs> to me, funniest thing at all, seeing a manatee shit. Those things shit something that looks like a bale of hay. It's so gigantic. And it just shits up the whole water. The entire tank is now filled with their shit. Oh. That's pretty disgusting. Well, don't say that until you go through the birthing process. Mm. Sometimes there's a little shitting. Oh, place. don't tell me that. Yeah. Well, th wasn't that one lady who I was describing, um, she was in a tub. She almost looked much more like a horse than mm -hmm. a human to me. It yeah, was they real. get a little fucking... I, to I brought it up yesterday. Yeah. I told you they get a little animalistic, the women do. But, I mean, she almost even like seemed like... She she moved like a horse. Like, she was on I, all fours and I stuff. know. Uh, it was such a beautiful... Uh, Fucking thing to be there with your chicks having a cigar. But the midwives, they just like take over. And they both turn to me and they go like this. Do you want to put out that cigar? I go like, yes. Where are we, California? <laughs> I go, take a look around, honey. Yeah. I'm not in Los Angeles. I'm going to fucking smoke where I want to well, okay. smoke. And this baby yeah. better get used to it. <laughs> All right, that's not going to happen with me. I'm uh, that's because it... you're too fucking cheap to smoke a cigar. Well, that's true. By the way, by the... you're going to paint your house too. I'm sure that's going to happen. Fucking Earl was telling me that the paint's just peeling off his fucking walls. Oh, Jesus what? Christ. Well, it's he been... lives in the Barton Fink Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> it's, been, it's, been, <laughs> it's been mildewed for two years. I can't believe there's any paint That'll left to see. That'll kill you, brother. That fucking stuff that you're living with will kill you. You get that fungal pneumonia that they can't cure. No, they scraped it. They, they repainted it, but it was cheap paint, and it's already starting oh. to peel. His apartment has got to smell so bad with Earl socks all over the place. Just strewn about. Why you clean up, bro? He I, never has he a Super Bowl party. Keeps, see, his socks are so dirty. His would be here. Earl, you going to his party? I wasn't invited, but if I was invited, I would. I would consider going to the party. Yeah, of course. You can't consider. You either go or you don't go. Earl calls me up at uh, you know eleven fifty uh, or eleven forty five on New Year's Eve, asking me if I'm at, if I'm going to Solera's party. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> we're here. It's the weirdest phone call of all time. What time did he call you? I called him in the middle of the afternoon, you dick. Ron. It was like early afternoon. You can't tell the truth. You cannot tell the truth, Earl. It was early afternoon. I could I could produce a phone record that says I called you in the afternoon. It was Prove the middle it. of the afternoon. All right, bring the uh, records in tomorrow. Like your fake Z-Man records they caught you. <laughs> Earl, that's the wrong date. Maybe it is. He left. <laughs> After spending an hour. So we lose the right to assemble? Oh, who cares? <laughs> Stop paying attention to that a long time ago. This thing has gone as bad as the, uh, as bad as the bet. That bet's still on. Yeah, only when I say it. Then you're going to throw something at him. <laughs> Come here, slave I'm sure boy. Have slave boy eat this cupcake off the ground and tell oh, us how good it is. You don't do that. Tell us have how good some it. fucking dignity. Tell us how good it is. I will fulfill the bet and I will eat it off the off ground. Off the ground. While Pepper slaps you in the ass. All right. Uh, you know what? No. Peppers. Go out there and eat it off that carpet. The disgusting carpet. <laughs> off you go. Now, as he's doing this, I am just going to ignore that it's even happening. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Eat it, doggy! Bark! Bark and beat it, doggy! 
Wrath, wrath, wrath. Mark and Dean. Wrath. Slave boy. I can't get it all up off the carpet. Feed nipple up With one of them. Mm. This is fucking SM. No. <laughs> Disgusting. There, I ate it. Eat it. Slave boy, you're disciplined now. It's good to put you in your place every once in a while. Now, now swallow the food, though. I am trying to swallow the food. I have a whole cupcake in my mouth. Just swallow it faster. Now, that shows I am paying off the bet. This is the first day you've paid it off, in my mm. opinion. I am totally paying it off. If you keep continuously talk back, I'm going to have to show you a picture of a police sketching that I know you clearly don't watch. You know that's I'll a phobia of mine. Stop. I have to do that. Here's a police sketch because you're talking back. I can take any humiliation that you're passing out. Tickle him, Pepper. What? Where should I tickle him? Tickle him. Why is Pepper your yeah, slave? Wait, I'm not your slave boy. <laughs> Fuck that. I'll tickle slave boy. This is not a this is not a slave boy thing. Stop tickling me. All right, stop. Take it. Stop tickling me, please. Well, he's master, if that's what I have to say. Fine. All right, I think I got carpet fibers in my mouth, too, from eating off the filthy carpet. And you know this ends on uh, Friday. It ends when I says it. The bet ends on Friday. Well, I'd say it'll end on Friday, but it ends when I say it. But I have fulfilled every, everything you've said to me, we'll I have done. You I have pulled off. You can't say that I'm welching on this back. I will continue to give you more things. Slaves do not talk back, either. Stop your defiance, otherwise I'll do more. I can take the best you got. And you have a bet coming up this weekend on the NFL. Yes. My predictions... All your bets have to come in, or... Uh, Earl P's in your butt. I have the Giants getting with the points, the Chargers with the points, Pats uh, with their points, and the Seahawks. Giants, Chargers, Pats, Seahawks, or Earl has to piss in my ass. Pee in my butt. Good luck with that. And I'll take that. I'll take it like a man. Yeah, exactly. Unlike, unlike, unlike Slave Boy. This is exactly what I'm doing. This is totally what I'm doing. I have been your sleigh boy. I'm wearing the leash. I'm, I ate the cupcake off the floor. I have done everything. I am not a welcher. I even drank out of a dog dish we'll today. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll be right back. This is the Ron and Fez Show. It's the Ron and Fez Show on XM202.